productive things than any senior also for the companies, from the company's point of view. And also I would like to add here, a young age does not mean he's not more productive than a 50 years old man. No. He may be much more productive than that. Only difference it comes, experience. Yes. It, it, it really opens your maturity level up, opens your mind more. Otherwise, there's no difference. Uh, <clears throat> uh, time positive is there, yes. Now the next topic is a little big. What's the time? What time I'm supposed to finish? Chief, that doesn't mean I should take all the liberty. All the liberty. <coughs> okay, maybe next time now, because it's a really big. Uh, you know, I told you what. Your plinth, plinth of a personality, I said, that is hard work, that is absolute honesty, that is your discipline. Then I said, the building, the personality, out of all knowledge, the knowledge. Knowledge also I try to define. It has to be complete, that is information, conception, and expression. So knowledge you grow, more you are knowledgeable, more you grow. You take it as a granted, that more you have knowledge, more you grow. Knowledge is the key. Now how big this personality will be, the building will be, it is another thing. It depends on the emotional sphere expansion of a human being. Should I go to I think, let me wait and ask some questions. Let us go for question session, otherwise it will be too hard. You know, it is always better to have a break, otherwise what will happen, you go from... Mm. That is not right. So, whatever you have heard from me, till now, if you have any questions, suggestion, please come. Don't hesitate. Please. Thank you, sir. And when your book comes, I would like to read, I would like to uh, subscribe to that book and your links, security, and discipline, hard work, honesty. I totally This is the best advice you can give to all the young students. It's a, one of the most wonderful convocational places of the country. Thank you, sir. Sir, 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 sir. There is a request for this kind of beautiful words. You have to give your name to my colleagues. You are not to subscribe. With I'll send you a. I'll, I'll, I'll love you. I'll love you. I will love you. Okay, I will send pay. Now, questions, yes. Please. Well, that's a good point, good question, sir. Question is, in a short time, how could it be such a big organization? Again, a very simple thing. I'll just, and you'll be convinced what I'm going to say. You just tell me after that, how you convince from that. Say, four persons start a business, four partners. They are contributing money. First, I will say, money cannot on its own multiply and expand, unless human factor is there. Is right? Now, the psychology of those owners are, since we are putting money, loss and profit is ours. Initially, when human nature is, human always wants to exist in the best possible manner. They want a better existence. Like, a rickshaw wala existence desire will be to have three rickshaws, one auto rickshaw. Industrial son desire will be to have seed industries. Maybe. So when he starts business, he I call them a karmi yogi. Karmi yogi is really dedicated soul in the world. They don't have conditions, and with them, 400 people also join as a worker. Gradually, gradually, when they grow, at that moment, at the time of growth, 404 are working. Emotionally dedicated four and four are working. Those four are always with those four hundred as brother, as colleague. <coughs> but after some time when they grow and they have a fat bank balance, one house is made, 
and good life as they are, they become Maliks. And there's 400 people, they're little now, separate. A separate bracket. Then what happens? Those 400 are also human beings. They also have the same desire of good existence level. But they find that, that, that Maliks, the owners, they are not ready to expand anymore. They have their own conditions now. They will say, I don't disturb me three times. I have, I have, I have promised my children for the picnic. I, you don't um, travel with me. You used to travel before. You snore a lot. All these conditions keep on coming. Because they are very settled, happy with their status of life. What is happening with those 400? They are also human beings. They see that their existence level now is stagnant. In India particularly, you don't have a situation where you leave a job and go to another job so fast. It's not so. So then that uh, 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 irritation, dissatisfaction, disappointment, those elements come. And that's the time the netas enter, the people enter, and they just provoke them. And then there's a fight between Malik and this man. And then it doesn't go. And it is really unfortunate, sorry, some authorities are sitting here. It's very unfortunate in our, sorry, in our system. Not country, I love this country. People are great in this country. Our system, people are sitting in so many helm of affairs. They only know their rights. They don't know their duties. They can't appreciate. They can condemn. That's a very unfortunate thing happening in this country. Very unfortunate thing happening in this country. I can claim, not only in India, probably world, the world, there will be hardly any organization of this quality of science. But we are not appreciated. That's the unfortunate I'm not, we don't work for the appreciation, but at least there should not be unnecessary bullying. That's very unfortunate. Anyway, let's not talk about that. It always happens, it happens every time. Uh, I'll, I'll give you an example. One and a half years back, my, I had a lecture in uh, uh, Harvard University. I came back, two journalists friends asked me a question in Bombay. How was your feeling in, after Harvard University lecture? I said, wonderful feeling and nasty feeling. What is wonderful and nasty? Wonderful feeling was that they heard me, the faculty, the teachers and students, they heard me for more than two hours. And then they asked, they came in the night again for two hours for the question and answer and all. The faculty took me to classes and honored me, etc. Wonderful feeling. Number one university in the world. What is the nasty feeling? I mean, there are four management institutions in Lucknow. They never called me. <laughs> That's our DNA. We can't appreciate it. That's our DNA, that's our problem. We have to learn, we have to really understand this point to, to, to develop the country in a big way because it's a country, it's a beautiful country. Beautiful country. Because I tell you, I have seen this country so closely, hardly any people have seen Because my business was like that, right from 70 I was traveling all around the country. Anyway, so in our organization, we are not, we didn't stop. Started growing, 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 and growing. Because I knew, unless we grow, add, grow, add, the, 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 the people who are at the downtrodden, they will not come. And that has happened. I am happy to say here, in the new organization, having second largest employment, you will be happy to know each and every cadre of Sahara, each and every right from Chokita to everybody are getting much bigger salary than central government. So, for us, for me, for me, my family. Family is an extended family. Only thing I would like to say here, that everybody is a family. A wife, children, mother, father. Everybody is doing everything for them. For their emotional satisfaction, that food of the internal personality. They are doing everything. Only thing is, the difference between them and me is only one thing, nothing else. My emotional sphere has extended towards me. And that's all. For me, they're all children. I want to see my Chokita having a house. I want to see when the driver sending the children the best possible school. That's the thing. That's the only difference. That's why I said it was nothing high tech. It's all doable by any human being. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm giving lecture. Let me tell you one more thing. That's interesting. You should know. Because if I ask anybody right now from here to come on the mic, it will be a problem right now. Am I right? Or, or are you ready to come on the mic? Okay. 
I remember 20th March 1978. I was, I was first time. I was to be on the mic in front of 200 people. <laughs> Believe me, two days I was under so pressure. I didn't want to eat also properly. I was not getting my appetite. It was so much of pressure. I'm sure the same thing will be there. Why is this, this point is important? Why is this point? Because many people, they just conclude I can't do this. It's wrong. Every human being have all the energies, all the caliber, all the uh, capacity in them. Believe me, God has sent everybody with everything. You have to just get that. You have to just uncoil them. That's all you have to do. As I said, then I decided in 78 the day, I will only read out two pages. I am not, I have no, no this thing to go for extempo. But now I talk eight hours in extempo. Yes. Because it's a practice. <coughs> Everybody can achieve it. Believe me, take, take one thing from me. You know what happened in my life? My wife, as I said, she was very highly. She did my courtship seven years. She used to write, she was a convent educated, etc., etc., gold medalist, etc., etc. I was always in Bihar, UP, small, small school, Kapra school, and all that. So I didn't know English at all. So my wife started writing, when the wife did, during courtship. She started writing in English, uh, ego has to, I also write it. I started writing in English, I replied in English. So after seven years courtship, I got married and then after marriage, one year, after one year, I entered my bedroom in the night, I saw my wife, yeah, she is having all my letters in the bed. I said, she must be in a romantic mood today. <laughs> I was very happy. Okay, great romantic mood. I just entered, okay, darling, what is the romantic mood? Well, Sit, sit, I have to say something. Long time back I was thinking, I, to, I wanted to correct your English. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my condition. Listen, yes. Because I was in uh, that small, small place. My father was in Sugar industry, so some small, small places. Small, small Kapai school, I used to have. But I enjoyed that. Anyway, so everything is depends on you. You need not depend on me. It all depends on you. Believe me, it's not me. It's not me, what you see today. You have to see me today, maybe 40 years back. Then, then you'll realize what I'm saying is right. It's all, it depends on me. Any other question? So what I said just now, if you go with a family, in true sense of faith, it's not me, I develop this country to this level. It is we. We means, Everybody is so committed in this organization. There is no trade union. Can you believe it? Nobody feels the need of a trade union. The netas go to the branch and they say, Hey, you have become so big. There should be a neta. They, you know what is the decline of the voice? They say, Sir, I become a big fine. In family, nobody needs neta. They need guardian. We have guardians. We don't need it. That's our the boys and girls have worked 19, 20 hours a day. Still they are working. There is no account head. No account head as overtime in our midst. And my driver standing outside is just give him double the salary, he will not join. That's all. That's a family. Truly a family. That's why it has grown fast. If we, if I as a Mali could have thought, no. It would have happened. Ever. Yes. Sir, first of all, I would like to thank you for your valuable advice and I tried to implement those in my life. Anyway, and sir, I want to ask you how do you monitor your announcements made by your various forums that are implemented uh, on this person that way? Whenever I say, I, I say the right thing, but I understand. But one more thing I would like to say here. Whatever I say, I practice it. I don't preach a word which I don't practice. I don't preach it. I cannot, even if I try, I cannot. So that's what you just asked me a question that I, I, I say the, the truth in any of my forum. Yes, uh, because my convictions inside are very clean, clear, always open for amendments also. I'm always open for my amendments. And believe me, I have learned so much during these classes out of questions. I've learned so much. Because I always say, for learning, the best way is teaching. If you are really a 
committed teacher, you will learn best. You will learn best in any subject. So I do that. And I always be, I feel nice to meet you. Ha, next. No, I am not fumble, but I change my questions, yes. I am very open-minded that way. I am not a rigid person. Many times it has happened that my 20 colleagues are sitting in front of me. Six hours we are sticking to a planning. Then a small officer came out with a point. Immediately entered my mind, hey, he is right. We are going in the wrong direction, it's not the right plan. I immediately finished it, I done it. And I go with a new plan. I believe in planning. If you come to me, I'll show you my figures. I do figure works of 2025, 2030. I do figure works. I, I believe in planning. Somebody, I always I'll advise you also for this. Believe me, if you give more time in planning, you are more successful. Do you know why? We have a conscious mind, we have a subconscious mind, we have an unconscious mind, we have a transcendental level. You must have seen in your life that today you th think something, tomorrow something else comes. Day after tomorrow something else comes. Why? It comes out of those transcendental levels. This is a micro level. The transcendental levels are all these are very micro level. So you need time. You need time. I to, to sh uh, in a very short thing I would like to say, when we started uh, uh, implementing this uh, uh, online thing throughout our branches of 4,000, uh, to cut it short, the first time some Israeli com company came, other companies came and they pro proposed us something. I remember it was 170 crores initial and then some uh, 10,000 rupees a month. I achieved that. I'm, I'm not interested. It doesn't have any business sense. My wife said that, sir, these are the three companies, they're the best and take addition, it will work. I said, I said um, it doesn't enter my this thing. We took six months. I sat for four or five times with them. And I took six months. We don't know what happened. That 150 crores came down to 26 crores, 10,000 came to 800 crores. Planning gives you that. Believe me, take this from me. Planning. Give maximum time your planning. Don't conclude fast. Don't just conclude like this. Something is coming on paper, good, 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 good. And the fund flow is good, this good, that good, and we just take addition, believe me, that's not right. You have to give your system so much of time to reach to that micro level of your thinking. So that those thinking and thoughts should come out and then your planning will be very productive. You will not face problem. I take maximum time in planning. Execution I don't bother. Planning I bother. That's right thing right here. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, one chapter, two chapters, many chapters are there, but book is coming. I think you'll get all the chapters in that. I think we should we should stick to our timing because there are some distribution of some degree and all that. I'd love to do that. So let us stick to the time. At the end, I will say Whenever there is any any interview of mine. Generally, they ask me, what is the last message you want to give to the youth particularly, or anybody and everybody? I always say, be contented with your present. Be happy with your present. The persons who are contented with present, they are the happiest people. They are the blessed children. The persons who are always victim of expectation, they are the dukhi people. Contented with the present. And for, what happened that day? I was sitting in Bombay office. So just beside my that office, the new construction was coming. So all the workers were working. Three persons were talking about one person was talking about it. I'm going to wait, 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 wait. See those laborers. See those laborers working. How do you compare yourself with them, your life with their life? Yeah, I'm a hundred times better. 
and you are so ungrateful to God. You have no gratitude in you. That gratitude feeling is not there. So if you think, and if you just consciously think, if you compare yourself with others in this world, you will find you are such a lucky man and such a fortunate person. So be always contented with your life. And, 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 and one more thing I would like to add here, you have to learn more things in life. We have to learn. Even I learn every day. I, I mean my words. I learn every day. One should learn every day. When I talked about the interpersonality, interpersonality characteristics you have to understand, you have to be rich there. The first interpersonal characteristic, I always say gratitude feeling. A human who doesn't have a gratitude feeling is not a good human being. Commitment, honesty, duty senses, duty performances. Realization of fault, expression of realization of fault, making up of fault, giving respect to others, commanding respect to others. All there are 20 such characteristics of a human being are interpersonal. You are rich, in their insight, you are a rich human being. And be contented. I wish you all the best. And uh, I just told her, the person who is very busy in putting the cure. Uh, yes, we are at the moment in a big way, Bombay offices appointing people, just getting people here from here and there. We need at least 200, I think 300 immediately, uh, some people with the MBS. You know, I always go for the, I always go for you. I always go for the fresh. Massive year that too. You know why? Wo kacha mitti hai. Unko shape de do. Jo bade ho jate na, wo pakka mitti ho jata. Unko shape to true jata. I am always comfortable. I am always comfortable with my new friends. So, I will welcome you all. And I wish you all the best. And be happy in life. Grow in life. Always remember, it's in your hand. And I tell you, remember that also. God help those who help themselves. Thank you very much.